What is up guys? Welcome back to O'Neill Code. Today we're going to be talking about Kruskal's algorithm and how it works. So Kruskal's algorithm is a greedy algorithm in graph theory that finds the minimum spanning tree for a connected weighted graph. This just means it connects all vertices together without cycles and with the minimum possible total edge weight. It is used in things like network cable and telephone wires that need to be laid down, GPSs, and computer networking. Cable companies will use an algorithm like this to ensure they keep their costs down when laying the wires. It will ensure that the neighborhoods, which can be represented in the graph we are building, have no overused paths. If there are things like cycles occurring, too much wire has been placed and they lose money. If you look at the graph here, we have locations A through F. There are connections between each location with a specific cost. Sometimes a path will cost more to travel than another, and Kruskal's algorithm is used to find the best way to reach each vertice at the lowest cost. So to begin, we will look at the smallest cost. We can see that there are two twos. We can pick either one to make it a connection. First we can do between F and D, then we can do between A and E. Now we have two paths, but they're not touching. We need to make all these separate trees into one large one at the end of the algorithm. We then look at the next smallest. It looks like A and F have a weight of 3 between it. We can use that, we now have a connection between E, A, F, and D. The next smallest looks to be two fours. We can start with A to B, then we can do E to C. When we do these, we have a connection between every single vertice. Since we started with the smallest vertices, we now know that all the other vertices are going to cost more and it does not make sense to continue. We can go through it though, so I can show you an example of a cycle. If we look at the next smallest weight 5 between B and C, we would get a cycle. This means that A, B, C, and E are all connected in a loop. If we look at the vertices we have in the red paths, there are no cycles. You will hit endpoints and you will not hit a vertice you've hit before following the path. This confirms the minimum spanning tree. If we look at 7 between F and E, it would cause a cycle between A, E, and F. Since 7 is the highest weight, we do not need to include it. 8 between E and D would cause a cycle between A, E, F, and D, and it was the highest so we can remove that as well. Now lastly we have the 9. Since 9 would cause a cycle between A, E, C, D, and F, we can remove it. This will leave us with our minimum spanning tree. This is how the greedy algorithm works, and this is why Kruskal's algorithm is so powerful. So that's all I have for you guys today. I create these videos to help all you programmers out there struggling with algorithms. So please in the comments let me know what you want to see in the future. It really helps me come up with new ideas in the future. Give me a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more. Peace out.